All right, just finished the uh, 15th shot. So we've got our darks and our biases now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my iPhone where the mount is still on and just move over to that device. And then basically I'm gonna use uh, a white, uh, white t-shirt and a rubber band on top of the telescope and then my iPad for my sunlight. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll take some images and what we're shooting for here is um, I have to do some adjustments and stuff like that, but I, I'm pretty sure, um, I think it's like three seconds or something that I leave it on, but we're, what we're shooting for is uh, 32768 uh, on the stretch level. So if we looked at our other images when they were, uh, when we had them before, um, this would be half of, of that. So essentially um, I'll set everything up and I'll switch over to my iPhone. It's gonna be a little smaller, but uh, we can still get the same benefit of what we're trying to do here. So uh, we'll go ahead and stop the video on this one and uh, continue on. All right, so we're out here tonight. Um, this iPhone doesn't have the best uh, video, but uh, essentially I've got my telescope all set up and I've got a white t-shirt and an iPad with the light. So um, so that's what I've got out here. All right, so we're back in the ASI Air app. Um, we'll click on the button again. We'll delete the dark. Oh, oops, sorry, reset progress delete the dark and then we'll go to the bias and we'll change it to flat and we'll repeat it 10 times and I believe it's 0 0.3 So that's good. So we're done at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and shut down the mount and bring it all in. You can hit the go to, hit the OK button, and it'll send it back home. Which is always nice, so you have a starting position. to the home you can just uh, take a second here to f clear off the screen hopefully there you go and here you can hit the Wi-Fi button and then hit the little power button up here on the top right and I'll shut down the ASI Air Pro